when I purchased this book, I felt like I was purchasing illegal contraband. Hey everybody and welcome back or welcome if you are new. Hi, hello, okay, so I don't know how to start this vlog, but I will say this, last night I read a book that was, um, <laughs> okay, so y'all know if you've been around on this channel that I have been around the block, okay? I have read some messed up stuff and you'd think that by now I'd be numb to it. I did too, but Matt Shaw, extreme horror author extraordinaire, wrote this book. Now, before I get into the vlog, let me just say that this is probably the most disturbing fucking book I have ever read in my entire fucking life. You need to do some searching of your own because it's not on Amazon, okay? This isn't a book that you can find in bookstores. You need to go to Matt Shaw's Etsy shop and purchase the book there and only then can you consume this. That's how I had to do it. And the only reason I know about this book is because I recently made like an author Facebook because, one second, <laughs> to promote this, my book, Them by McKay Watson. Hi, I wrote a whole entire novel. If you would like to support a queer indie horror author, link down below. So I made an author Facebook and I joined these horror splatterpunk Facebook groups. Through that, I discovered this book. I felt like I was buying illegal contraband when I purchased it. Now, if I've said before that certain books are not safe for life, not safe for work, this book is not safe for eternity, okay? This book made me feel so uncomfortable, so obviously I gave it five stars. But yeah, if you'd like to know why this book ruined my soul, um, Please continue watching, it's a full spoiler vlog. I didn't intend on doing a full spoiler vlog, but shit was happening and I was like, we're turning this into content. Hey everyone, hi. So I just got out of the shower and I kind of had plans, but I canceled all of them because my bestie, my twin, my lover, my incestuous, twin incestuous twin, Meg, messaged me that she just started reading the book Hub by Matt Shaw and she felt like she's 50% in and she feels like she needs to be thrown in jail, which means I downloaded Hub by Matt Shaw and I'm gonna read this book right now and react to it and vlog it and just have a fun time, okay? I'm here for trauma, I'm here for pain. I'm here to vibe, the life is difficult and when the life is difficult, extreme horror gets read. So I have Hub on my Kindle and I don't know what the fuck this book is about. I don't know what the fuck happens in this book. Have I read Matt Shaw before? Yes, I have. This book was apparently so sketchy, it wasn't even put on Amazon. So it was a whole last fucking thing. It wasn't the convenient Amazon download. But we have Hub by Mr. Matt Shaw, and we are going to start this book right now. So I've got the book on my Kindle. This is the cover. I'm already fucking scared because there's children, and he's one of those extreme horror authors who doesn't give a fuck, he will go there, he will go there. Just look at the opening scene of Sick Bastards and that will tell you everything you need to know. So, we're gonna do this and it's gonna be a grand old time. I bet, I think, I hope, we'll see. Later that day. So I just got to this line at around the 10% mark of Hub by Matt Shaw, it goes, oh, what's that? Children, they're little shits. I mean, not all of them are little shits. And then he goes, True, I like stillborns, they're nice and quiet. Instant five stars, instant five stars. This book is getting five fucking stars. I don't need to read any more of this. This is fucking amazing, this is good shit. Uh, okay, um, I'm 12% in and I'm starting to see why Meg feels like she should be going to jail for reading this. But it's feeling like a five star, okay? It is feeling like a five star. So the plot is something like we have these two, this couple, some, this guy and this woman named Gloria, and I think the guy is infertile, and they go to this place where you can adopt a child, like an orphanage, but there's like a hundred children there, and it's an establishment, and this guy, the man in this relationship, is getting a, a hand and while he's getting one, he's like, it would be so fun to de-stress at the end of the day by beating children up and ripping them. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, where is this going? <laughs> Dude, this book is like getting worse and worse. And by worse, I mean better. Like this book is fucking going for it. I don't know if this is a spoiler, but I'm gonna, okay, mild spoiler. Basically, I am in the first 26%. So if something this early on but this crucial would bother you, maybe skip ahead or mute me. But 
Here's what's actually happening. Okay, so this young girl named Tara was, I believe, abducted and then taken to this school. And in this school, it's essentially like, if you've seen the movie Red Sparrow with Jennifer Lawrence, where she is a Russian spy and she goes to this academy and they teach her how to be this prostitute to seduce American CIA agents. Over here, it's like Red Sparrow, Sparrow School, but they're teaching kids how to please, like sexually please, like their grown adult men who adopt them. It's so fucked up. This is like, I, how did Matt Shaw think of this? Like, I am concerned, but also like, shitting myself. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, what am I reading? I feel like I need to go to jail. Electric chair. I can't stop. It's like a fucking car crash. Okay, fuck it. Spoiler vlog because I need to talk about this scene. Okay, so Hugh, the man in the relationship, goes into the room with Tara, the kid, and he's like, because prior to this, Gloria, the, um, his wife, his female partner, slapped Tara in the face because she was scared, she was intimidated, she didn't like being in their house now that they've adopted her. So Hugh comes in and he's like, I'm sorry Gloria slapped you in the face. Let me make it better. Give me a kiss. So she gives him a kiss and he's like, no, give me a kiss. You know where. So this kid gives Hugh a Okay, and then I wanted to vomit at this point, but also like, oh my gosh, I can't, like this book is shocking me. And then Gloria is there and she's like, how was it? Do I have competition now? And then Hugh is like, no, you'll always be my main girl. And then she's like, tell me what happened. And then he starts recounting every single like sexual thing Tara did and things he wants to do to her. And it's really gross and fucked up. And while this is happening, Gloria brings out a vibrator and she shoves it down and she's like, Bzz, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then when she climaxes, she like, while he's like giving all his like, you know, sexual fantasies, she takes the vibrator and, and then he like cleans her used vibrator with his mouth and girl, girl, this book. Like, I'm gonna have to bleep out everything because there's no way I can talk about this on YouTube without getting in YouTube jail slash demonetized. But also freedom of speech and I'm allowed to discuss transgressive literature, okay? YouTube, stop being rude to me. Okay, so like every time I think this book can't get more disturbing, I am proven wrong. So here's what happens. So one day Hugh gets back home from a very stressful work day and he's like, where the fuck is she? And then, what's her name? Gloria is like, she's in her room. And then we think, okay, he's just wanting to get his fucking rocks off. But no, he goes in and he beats Tara to death. And while he's like ragdolling her around the room, Gloria is downstairs and she is you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> this book is crazy. It is one of the most, it is probably the most disturbing book I have ever read in my entire life. And I don't say that lightly. Like, I don't know how this concept was imagined in someone's head. I would have never thought of this in like a million years. And that just goes to show how this is effective transgressive literature, I guess, because, oh my gosh, the writing is solid. I am flying through this fucking book. So yeah, that happened. And then we cut to the school. So we cut back and forth from the house of Hugh and Gloria to the school, the hub, the um, orphanage slash school. And then there's a scene where um, these two girls who newly turned 13 were told that they were no longer gonna be part of the orphanage because apparently they only accommodate children from four to 12. Can you imagine? That's so fucked. That is so fucked. Anyway, okay, so they're like, okay, we can't have you anymore. We're gonna send you off. So they think they're gonna be, you know, released into the real world, but no, they're put in like a gas chamber and gassed to death. And then in the next scene, there is this kid named Joel, I believe. He's like this young boy who doesn't want to participate in the training. So they make a bunch of kids line up and spit on his face. And then in order to punish him, because he refused to give this older man a they pin him down and force the guy to dry 
him. Like literally, I am only 50% in. What the fuck is gonna happen in the rest of this book? I don't know what to expect. I'm shitting myself. I don't know what I don't know what to fucking expect, okay? This is crazy. Like, if it's already this bad halfway through, what the fuck's it gonna be like moving forward? Guys, this is some fucked up shit. Like, I rarely have this like dread reading a book, but this is doing it for me. Like, this is shaking me to my core. Okay, so then we get into this scene where Hugh and, what's her name, Gloria, go back to the mansion, um, the orphanage, and they're like, we wanna adopt two more kids, one guy, one girl, and we want a teenager. And they're like, no, we kill the teenagers. And they're like, you know what, if you're not gonna be making money off these people, why don't we just strike a deal? So right now, that's what they're trying to do, but I am hungry, so I'm gonna go make some dinner and hopefully finish this before bed because I don't want to take this with me into the next day, you know what I mean? I'm like kind of lazy, so I might just pop some rice in the rice cooker and call it a day. But yeah, check in soon. A few moments later. So we're making the spicy cream of salmon here. It's basically canned salmon, um, thickened cream, and you just slap that together, salt, pepper, and then the secret ingredient is this. Spicy chili oil. All right, so one little teaspoon of the spicy chili oil goes a long way. Okay, so here's the finished product. It's so delicious. My water, and I'm undergoing a juice cleanse because I'm fucking healthy like that, okay? Thank you, bye. I was very scared because this book at 50% was just so like, crazy, just so insane, just so fucking disturbing. I was like, if it's already this bad halfway through the book, how much worse is it gonna get? I somewhat regret asking because it does get pretty gnarly, okay. Hugh and Gloria go pick up these two kids. We have Elizabeth and the, the boy whose name I don't remember, but they are young, they're below the age of 13, and the boy becomes the slave of Gloria and the girl to Hugh, and they are doing some things. They are getting all sexual. Gloria is apparently a fan of getting her rimmed and getting fisted, and then they realize, like, hey, um, we can't beat up these smaller kids because they die too easily like Tara. We need to invest in a much older child. So Hugh goes to pick up this um, girl named Hannah who they had a deal that, you know, he would cover the costs and then he would house her so they don't, you know, waste the kids. And the orphanage was like, okay, fine, as long as you're paying, cool. He picks up this girl named Hannah and while he is on the way to pick her up, um, Gloria gets Elizabeth, the girl, and the boy what is his name? Whatever, anyway. So she gets Elizabeth and the boy. She makes him eat her out. She makes them get all sexual and stuff. And Elizabeth just so happened to overhear a conversation between Hugh and Gloria about the fact that they want a new daughter and she's very jealous. Like she is very envious of the fact that Hugh would want to replace her, which plays into a very Stockholm syndrome-y kind of situation. So Hugh goes to pick up Hannah, this girl, who is about to turn 13. Like, he's picking her up as, like, he, I think the deal, they had this specific thing in the deal where he would by someone who was on the cusp of turning 13, not like an actual 13 year old, so that way it's all within the boundaries of the orphanage. Not legal, I almost said legal, definitely not legal. Nothing about this is legal. Anyway, so he picks her up and unbeknownst to Gloria, she, Hannah, the one who's about to become a teenager, is pregnant. Yeah, um... We're currently 80% into the story, so this can go either which way. I am scared. I am very scared because we learn that he p doesn't plan on housing her in the standard bedrooms. No, he's gonna have Hannah in this cage in the basement and she's gonna exist solely so he can beat her up, which is like, what the fuck? What the actual fuck am I reading? Like Meg wasn't exaggerating when she was like, I'm gonna go to jail for reading this shit and I'm like, now I know.
<laughs> now I fucking know. This is probably the most disturbing book I have ever read. Every single page just gets gradually worse and worse and worse, and there's no gore. I mean, there is, you know, people getting beaten to death, but it's not super described. It's all like, you know, he punched her in the gut and then cuts to the next scene. Oh, she's dead, and he's like all bloody and shit. So the fact that it is this disturbing without gore is a thing, okay? It's a thing. So he tricks her into trusting him, and then when she gets there, he punches her in the face, and now she's in the cage, and she's pissing herself, and he is touching the piss and licking it off his fingers and about to do shit to her, and I am scared. Check in soon. I don't know if I can even post this, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, I just got to the epilogue, and this book is fucking wild. Okay, so here's what happened so far. Um, Elizabeth is incredibly jealous because she is under the impression that Hugh, the dad, is like obsessed with her, he loves her, and she clearly, you know, was taken at a very young age, sent to this like Red Sparrow for Children school to pleasure pedos and shit like that. So she clearly lacked that love of a parent in her life, so she was seeking it from these horrible fucking people. And I guess Hugh, despite his criminal activities, was someone who she psychologically convinced herself was a surrogate parent, and you do get some emotional scenes with her and Charles the boy, I remember his name now, well I mean I just read his name, Charles, um, bonding removed from the presence of Gloria and Hugh, you know, just like talking about how shitty their lives are, which was actually pretty emotional in my opinion. So Hugh is torturing Hannah in the basement, he is punching her in the face and he's like, do you think your baby can feel that? Well, your baby will feel this and then he punches her in the gut, he slices off her and then he um, rips them off and sucks her 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 fully wounded breast. And also, while all this is happening, he was like psychologically torturing her. He's like, oh, I'm gonna kill you, and you're gonna end up like in hell where um fucking the, the first girl that died is, and this girl is crying, and then in Hugh's head, he's like, oh my gosh, her crying turns me on. Her crying gets me hard, and I'm just like, Electric chair. Electric chair the shit out of this fucking man because this is not right. This is not fucking right. And while all this is happening, Gloria is giving Charles a hand. Okay, she's jerking it. And while she's doing that, she like straddles him and sits on his dick. And then she's bouncing up and down. And then we cut back to the basement and apparently Elizabeth caught Hugh and Hannah. He, she caught Hugh jerking on Hannah's face, and she didn't see that Hannah was all tortured and shit because Hannah's back was faced to her, but based on what she could see, her daddy that she was in love with was playing himself with another child who he lied and said wasn't there. And she's like, he's gonna replace me, that fucking bitch. So she runs out, she gets a knife in the kitchen, and then Hugh chases after her, and he's like really pissed, he beats her up, he like, her and while he is doing that, um, Evelyn is bouncing on the dick of Charles, and she realizes that he is not pleasuring her because his underage dick is too small. So she punches him in the dick because she's pissed at him, and then she hears a scream and she goes to check on Hugh and sees that his dick was chopped off by Elizabeth, who's now stabbing him in the neck. And Gloria tries to get Elizabeth off him, but Elizabeth stabs her in the gut. And then Elizabeth tries to escape, but before she escapes, she kills Charles by pushing him down the stairs because she doesn't want to risk him going back to the orphanage. And then as she's about to escape, she sees Gloria calling the police. And as Gloria calls the police, Gloria kills herself because, you know, obviously, if the cops show up and she says, these kids were trying to murder me, they're gonna be like, what are these underage kids with tons of evidence that you've been f***ing them? Well, how's that gonna look, right? So Gloria kills herself, and then Elizabeth is like, should I go help the girl in the basement? And then this part honestly made me chuckle. She was like, uh, fuck it, it's not my problem. 
Anyway, I'm gonna charge this camera a bit, read the epilogue, and then wrap this vlog up because this was fucked. This book was fucked, you guys. Like, this book... <laughs> I can't fucking believe, like, when I started this book, I had no idea where it was going. But thank you for being on this journey with me so far because it's a grand old time and I am scarred for life. This book isn't even on fucking Goodreads. It's not even on Amazon. That's how fucking taboo this shit is. Okay, so I just finished the book and I'm traumatized. I am literally traumatized. I don't even know what to fucking say. I should probably just tell you how the book ends, okay? So we get to this epilogue and we basically learn that the government was in cahoots with this orphanage because a lot of people in office are clients of this thing. That's very scary, that is very frightening. So we learn that um, because she stands no chance and she knows she stands no chance, she like jumps in front of a train as the police are about to find her because she knows that there is no happiness to be found in life given what is happening and what could happen. And then we cut to the orphanage and we see this uh, gay couple adopting this young boy and they were like, we don't want someone who's too young, maybe six or seven. Hello? Overall, this is probably the hands down most disturbing book I have ever read. It is so fucked up. This will be a very difficult read for many people and if you couldn't make it to the end of this video, I don't blame you. You're probably not hearing me because you've probably already clicked off when I talked about the dick punching and the fucking small... <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, that was Hub by Matt Shaw, the most disturbing book I think I have ever fucking read. Now we know. And with that being said, if you can think of another super fucked up disgusting book that you think would warrant a full-on vlog, comment down below. Let me know. And if you made it this far into the video, please comment this gasping emoji because I know that that was my face reading this book and that was more than likely your face listening to me recall the events of this frickin' book. Thank you. And yeah, as always, hope to see you in future videos and take care. I lose myself